All right, so the main thing when starting out this kiln is that you want to get the ground level, which I didn't really do starting out with. I mean, I kind of cleared off some stuff, but not as good as you should. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see me adjusting a lot throughout this process, really just trying to get the bottom uh, the bottom bricks all level with each other and all stable and then once 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 that's level and they feel sturdy um, then you can start building up the base so I I um, got this idea off of YouTube from another channel called primitive technology and he made something very similar, except he used uh, primitive style clay bricks. And I'm just using uh, bricks that you can buy from like Lowe's, red clay bricks. But I think either, either or would be fine. Um, his bricks were a little bit bigger, so he has a bigger firebox. This is what I'm building right now. I'm building the firebox. And his firebox was a little bit bigger so it could hold more tender um, but you don't want you don't want to have it so tall that it becomes unstable which is what I felt like happened so I ended up taking down a level and then adding the grates back to it to keep it more stable so yeah after you're done making the firebox, all you're going to need to do is build the top where you'll put the pottery at. And what the guy from Primitive Technology did, he used mud for the mortar for his bricks. So I just did the same thing. <clears throat> and it can work out to your advantage too because... If you wanted to move this kiln, you could, because nothing's really permanent. You know, it um, doesn't have like cement in it, mixed in it or anything like that. So it should be pretty easy for me to take apart if I need to, but still be sturdy enough to hold together and um, get good results with the pottery. So that's why I decided to just use mud and yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it everything else is self-explanatory just stack up the bricks um, make sure you don't stack them right up on top of each other you kind of overlap the gaps from the previous level and if you do that it, it comes out pretty sturdy even just with using mud for mortar haven't fired it yet, but that'll probably be in my next video. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of this video. This is the finished result. It's actually uh, had a couple days of rain on it. Mud still looks intact. I mean, everything still looks everything still looks good. This is really sturdy.
I don't think it'll be going anywhere. I am going to let it dry out a little bit before I fire it and let the wood dry out a little bit before I fire. Um, but this is it. I dug out the underneath the firebox a little bit so it could get more airflow. And other than that, I really haven't did anything from what y'all just saw. So if you like this video, or if you'd like to see a different video, just let me know in the comments below. I appreciate y'all watching. Till next time.